We're Rory and April. We are the Great Escapers. Made it to Lefkada. Here in Lefkada, Greece, and it's beautiful. Took us about eight hours or so to get here. Two ferries, two rental car drives, but we're, well, here, we're here, back in the homeland. It's beautiful. I'm never leaving. Never leaving. <laughs> I'm seeking asylum here. <laughs> So after we grabbed the rental car, it was off to Lefkada. Yep, we drove for a few hours until we got to the beautiful island of Lefkada, where we arrived in a mountain town called Caria. It's right smack dab in the middle of the island where we booked a place called the Caria Boutique Mansion. We actually found it on booking.com, a little over budget, but we felt like we needed so to worth splurge. It. It's definitely a place you go if you're looking for peace and quiet away from everything else. Yeah, we picked it because it was about a half hour from every beach and every city on the island. Uh, but it definitely is off the beaten path, way up in the mountains. Beautiful place. It has two full bedrooms, two full bathrooms. It has everything in the kitchen everything you could the possibly kitchen. need to cook. It has its own pool in the backyard, which we have loved on sunny days. We've had a barbecue pit where we got to barbecue some chicken and mashed potatoes. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, right across, actually our next door neighbor is a winery. A winery right next door. And I mean, we could throw a rock at sure it. Sure could. And a shout out to my friend, well, I say friend, my friend Peter from My Greek Odyssey. He actually did it, his show and came up to this very same winery. I caught it on a show. I was like so excited to be in Left Cod. I'm like, man, that looks familiar. And yep, sure enough. We're staring at it, it from our backyard. So we met the nice ladies who work next door and live there. They walked down the street one day and invited us to come over and have wine anytime. So we'll have to take them up on that while we're here. Sure will. So we have dreamed of Lefkada for so long, mainly because we had heard of its gorgeous beaches that dot the coastline. This was our first beach to go to called Kathisma Beach. And even as the storm rolled in, it was absolutely magnificent, settling in over the mountains and the sparkling blue water. So to get to any of these beaches, as we drive out through the mountains, it's always a scenic drive. But in this particular drive, we were welcomed by what's called the balcony. And it is such a beautiful view of the town of Nidri and the sea.
So we drove into Nidri, which is just a small beach town with a port that ferries to several surrounding islands. And this is where we had one of the best hot dogs known to man. Best hot dog. Greek hot dog. Not like Texas hot dogs. Greek. It was amazing. So living in the mountains, it's great. So quiet, so peaceful. I can take all of our nice long walks through the mountain. But then, you know, sometimes the Wi-Fi doesn't work. And there's nobody up here, so we need a little bit of civilization. So we drive on down to Lefkis. It's the biggest town in Lefkada. You'll find tons of grocery stores, lots of restaurants and cafes. And most importantly, they have tons of boutiques where they sell Greek handmade items like sun hats and candles. And they have a little winery with some of the best island wine. We just love going into Lefkis. Makes you feel like you're back in civilization, right? Right. And they have this delicious candy. God, what is it called? It's some kind of nougat that they hand make here. I've heard they also make it in Zakynthos. Lefkis has a huge marina. So just in case a big blue yacht shows up, Peter from My Greek Odyssey, if you're listening to this or watching, give me a call. We'll work for wine. Yeah, we can learn to sail. Sure can. I have a Speedo. Oh, no. 